What's up? I'm Lindsay Sterling, and I am so excited to take you behind the scenes of my newest music video, Snow Waltz. This was a big undertaking because I not only concepted it, I storyboarded it, I designed and made the costumes, I directed it, and I edited it. And it was a huge process, so I had to be much more organized than I am in my normal day-to-day -day life. And I want to take you through the process with me and how I used technology in my Asus computer to make this a seamless process. Look, two, three, set, drink, and action! idea for Snow Waltz, I immediately knew I had to like rein it in because it was like a big idea and it started to explode all over the place and for me it was such a great exercise to start storyboarding it. Draw out all the beats. One, it helps me when I'm directing my own music videos because then it's like I've already edited the video in my head. I know exactly what I want. I'm just gonna like work. You know, it's, I want it to be like medium. So if it's like kind of a lower shot looking up at me and you see the dancers in the foreground, yeah. That's what I would prefer for my yeah, close up. I want you to be able to see the girls because their interactions are really cute and quirky. I'm almost just like this background character. I'll be making eye contact with the camera. Also being able to go to the choreographer and not just be like, uh, I'm not sure where the dancing is going to take place, but to say, no, this is exactly the moments we need choreographed. And imagine it at the part, but da da So like, take a bite, you know, maybe, maybe, yeah, do 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 Yeah. <laughs> So those are your moves, and then I say you guys are more big, and it could be in that da da da. I know the props we're gonna be using. I know, you know, I really had the vision all set out so that when we showed up on set for a really tight filming day, like everybody knew exactly where they needed to be, the dancers knew their spots, the set designers knew what angles we were shooting at because I'd done the work before to like kind of plan out all the video. And I think I've just learned over and over again that that prep work is so essential and it's something that I invest a lot of time into anytime I make a, a music video like this caliber. Creating the costumes for this music video was really fun and a challenge and something I'm actually quite proud of because it all started with this idea of like, what does an ornate like regal skeleton look like? What would that be? Then looking for ways and tutorials of how you could possibly use, I don't know, hot glue to make something like this. And next I was sketching out ideas on the screen pad plus and then here my assistant and I were hot gluing these corsets together and making these beautiful rib cages. Before I knew it, they were standing in front of me on set. I am obsessed. I feel me. like you're my creation. <laughs> I am. And then I'm editing them together on the computer. So it was really cool to see this whole process come to life. We got to talking about how there's this time in between Christmas and Halloween when you're not sure where to land. And that immediately kind of made me think as we were writing this song of this comical idea of what would it be like if these skeletons that live in the world of Halloween experienced like a Christmas universe. You know, especially the fact that skeletons come from a world where everything is meant to scare them. Like Halloween is all about bah! And so these skeletons keep thinking that all these whimsical, magical things are like about to terrify them. You know, they see a puppy and instead of it being like, oh my gosh, a puppy, they think, what is it going to do to me? Um, and it was just really fun to play not only musically with like little hits and things that could be perfect for like a cause and a reaction, but then to figure out what were all those reactions going to be. Whenever I get my dancers in a music video, choreography is super important to me. Um, it's so it becomes a mode of telling the story. And so I took my storyboards to my choreographer, Ashley Gonzalez, who is amazing. Um, I wanted her to see the entire story from start to finish. So it was really great to have the laptop to be able to show her that while playing the music, while showing her the mood boards of the color palettes, because that allows the choreographer to get fully immersed into the art as she was about to create. Um, and so, you know, we wanted it to really play between this like magical waltz 
but also I was like, we're skeletons, so occasionally if we do too big of movement, like our arm pops out of place and they're gonna have to put it back in. And so you'll see in the video, there's a lot of moments where the dancers are dancing and then they're literally like, you know, or like pulling their head back into place. So once we shot the music video, I immediately started editing it because I was so excited. And it was amazing that because I had storyboarded it all out, I had on the screen pad plus the storyboard playing and then up at top I had my editing window and I was basically just matching the shots to the storyboard that I'd already created. I'd already edited the video in my mind and on the screen and it made it so convenient to literally just like copy paste, copy paste. It was like I was just doing a puzzle almost that had already been made for me and um, it made this video probably the fastest video I've ever edited. I love the dual screen laptops from ASUS and this one is their best one yet.